If you have the 5600 Econominder, or actually any Fleck Econominder valve, and uh, it does not seem to be counting down the water, you'll want to check this meter dome in the back. Be sure to turn off the water or swing the bypass uh, position. Uh, throw the valve into backwash on the front. A little squirt of water will go out the drain. Now it's safe to go ahead and remove the uh, four screws that hold the meter module into place. And pry it up. If it gives you trouble, you can stick a screwdriver. Oh, cable wants to come out. That's all right. We need it out for now. Okay, I'm going to get a screwdriver under here. There. All right. Once it's started, it comes right up. It has an O-ring, which sometimes will stay in the hole, but you'll want to put it back on there. There's an impeller. It just sits in there, free spins. Doesn't look like it's attached to much because it's not. And what we're going to do is stick the cable back in to the hole here. And if you twist it and look inside, you can see there's a small white gear. And a working one, you can apply some torque and that gear will spin freely inside. You're not going to get a lot of twist on this cable. All you're doing is put a little torque and it will spin and perhaps even continue to spin for another second after you have applied the torque. That would mean it's okay. Now if you can apply torque and you can't get that little white gear in there to spin or it barely budges and instantly stops the second you start uh, stop applying torque then the meter dome is probably bad and that would explain why it wasn't counting down and you can replace it and be back in business. Now when you're putting it on just make sure you put it on the same way you took it off. Basically the uh, little the dimpled end will point towards the drain. The white gear ends up being in the furthest back position. Oh wait a second, that's opposite of the way it should be. <sighs> Dimple needs to be on the outflow side. And speaking of dimples, you may have noticed the uh, rather large area on this. This is the newest one. They've been using this for oh, a little while, a few months. This is what the older ones that you'll probably find on your unit look like. A very small dimple. And that set is going to be on the outflow side. The uh, white gear that's in here ends up closest to the head. So, old one off. Make sure you have the O-ring. Stick it around the bottom of this. Put a little silicone lube on it if you have it. And just set it back in place. A little pop there. Put your four screws in. Screw them down tight, press your cable back, and then you can restore the water once you have those back in place.